Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. It's me, Alan, our guest Jake, here, and uh, Nigel is currently pooping. Yeah, he poops a lot. Right, Nigel? He, can't <laughs> he, he might be it. dead. Nigel, what are you doing in here? I'm going to pee. Pee. So that's a suspiciously tomorrow, long and stinky pee you're making. Like oh my god. Well, we've well, already started. Right, so okay. we, I, I I t- no, not yet. I told Jake to keep his eyes closed because yeah. he recently had a birthday. I did. And now you can open your eyes, Jake. This is a very, very oh, special. Check it out. Wait, sorry, sorry. Oh my no, God. You have to go there or there. Okay, where, should, where do you want to go? <laughs> Whatever you want. Welcome to this very special. But you're Nigel, just yeah. sit right here. You like he, was, he was speaking into that mic. You can sit on my lap. It doesn't matter. You can no. speak into whichever <laughs> mic. There you go. There we go. <laughs> nice. Okay. Wow. We're going to unwrap the gift. <laughs> no. You I'm gave up too quickly. Unwrapping your gift with your kid. That's what <laughs> yeah. it looks like. I'm like Santa Claus. <laughs> on this very special edition of the safety third podcast we're gonna start it off with a, a nice little gift of it. i can, I can yeah. see it you did a really yeah. piss poor job happy Jack birthday hey. Jake. happy birthday right. to you oh, oh, yeah. look at what it is. fishing rod pen i got him a, <laughs> oh, a miniature wow. fishing rod so that he can uh, catch the fish in his friend his roommate's exotic oh, saltwater yes. aquarium in the house <laughs> So it's like oh. a, it's like a giant pen, and then it telescopes out. So it's like a mini fishing rod. That's we, awesome. Oh, man. I found the lowest rated one on Amazon. Oh, find. really? Yeah. Really? What was the rating? It's like a two stars, I think. Why would anybody continue? Actually, never mind. You bought it. What am I talking about? <laughs> why would anyone? That's the reason buy why it? they all keep buying it. I love this. Yeah, I think it like Great. telescopes. Should that be out. the extras? We go to Jake's house and fish in the aquarium yeah, with it. it? All right, join us on the Patreon the extra. What if we just end the episode right now and we just go to Jake's house for the extra? It's like a like a what, five minute long safety third episode, and this uh, just we go fishing like for in the saltwater aquarium. That's my. Well, happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Alan. So it's a reverse so telescoping. Yeah, wait. Why does it no, look like it's going the wrong back. way? Yeah, I think I don't think. Wait, you're is there to a back it. though? Oh, no, you're not supposed to unscrew it. Oh. Yeah. Just pull a cap off like it's a pen. Or maybe oh, you're not supposed don't, to do that. Don't hit me. Wow, this really uh, is the worst one. Oh! Wait, that was awesome. Kind of cool. Jesus, hey. watch out. We got a new lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> How much did this cost? Uh, I think it was like 10 bucks. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's not bad. See, it's like a it's like a pretty uh, pretty sizable fishing rod for the fact that it's shaped like a giant pen. It really is. And it comes with a little reel. Thing. Mm-hmm. And it's got like wow. real line. Why did in there. you buy this? Oh, because uh, Jake's roommate has really expensive fish in a big exotic fish tank. And so mm-hmm. now he can go fishing. Mm. It's perfect. I can catch some dinner. It's uh, He <laughs> just keeps restocking the tank. Yeah, I mean, he's put what, like $8,000 into the fish tank so far? Probably. More? More. Probably like over. You, five you're going to have to talk into the mic if you want oh, people yeah, to hear sorry. any of that. <laughs> It, they are they that expensive? Is that what not. he spends all his disposable income on? Uh, yeah, that's Why? his hobby. The saltwater, yeah, saltwater yeah. fish. Yeah, mm. it makes him happy. Yeah, they mm-hmm. got a couple of Nemo's, a couple of Dory's, a starfish. That Alan, how touching. does this connect? I don't know, dude. I just bought the thing. I didn't. How hard could it be? It's rated two stars on Amazon. Engineers here. Are we engineers? No, I'm not an engineer. I'm not technically an engineer oh, yeah. either. Is there like things that line up? Is there? No, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you screw it, unscrew this, pop this, and then this slides down oh, over it, nice. just like that. Dude, Lock this it is in. awesome. Yeah. Is this how we're? I cannot. This is how we're starting. This is how we're probably gonna have to. We probably cut some. Audience. No. No. <laughs> no. No. We All can't. Right. It's it's <laughs> it's against the rules. Against okay, the well, rules. Well, I'll I'll just probably yeah. I'll keep no, you're just gonna it. sit. With yeah, I'll, I'll, sit I'll sit with it. I right. got it put together. Jake has that has great. built the fishing pole that Alan bought him for his birthday. Yes. And uh, it's now what are we gonna do? Surprisingly good for ten bucks. Like yeah, just not bad. Build quality. Jeez. Oh, it doesn't work very well. No. Yeah. It's more. It's, I think it's really a novelty item. See if I can poke your eye out with it. Yeah, you actually could though. Mm-hmm. Actually, me and Nigel have an idea for a video. It's uh, do do Asian people get fewer eye injuries? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna you go with so? yes, but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop moving! It makes no, it harder. No, no, I don't want it. I don't want to do this video. <laughs> Wait, that right, glass, that's not I, fair. I, You're I wearing glasses. Oh, yeah, that's All right, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Let's test it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Alan made out with this like two minutes ago. By the yeah, way, too, that so. was in my mouth for yeah. like, just a couple seconds. Yeah. Ago. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, but it's all right. You know how that, how that is. Welcome, Jake. This is the second time you've been on our. And I'm here this time. Absolutely. Here. Can I call this podcast 
shit. You can. We should, we should go on the yeah. Patreon Discord and ask how people would describe this podcast in one word. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Good. Shit. Probably oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, last yeah. time you were on, it was we were doing it virtually, and so yes. far we've managed to do almost every single one in person. I like the in That's impressive. Yeah. It's because yeah. I have yeah. not yeah. been home <laughs> in a long time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, want, I, just, I just want to go home. And we've got a large You're dog, dog home. crate that we put Nigel back in whenever we're done. They don't let me go home. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> we've been spending the, uh, the the money that you guys have given us very well. On Patreon, we just bought new cameras. Can you tell? Does it look better? I swear to God, if you say it doesn't look better, I'm going to find each and every one of you and beat you. <laughs> <laughs> you spent like a lot of money yesterday. This is going to save this podcast. You yeah, know, these like, yeah, if there's any complaint yeah. anyone had, it was definitely the image quality <laughs> yeah, of the, the videos. <laughs> I just realized the what a, the what a waste podcast. of pixels yeah. this podcast is. <laughs> For anyone who's only listening to the audio, I hope you feel bad that you're missing out on the improved image quality. Yeah. Does anyone have any interesting stories to share? I think that's what we're supposed to do on podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jake. What have yeah. you been up to, Jake? Yes, please give us your oh, man. interesting please things. Please give us anything. 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 Please. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> this has to go on for another hour. <laughs> we're already <laughs> running out of material. All my brain is saying is don't stop talking. Just okay. keep going. All right. All right. One. One to two or three. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> uh, the weather. Let's talk about yes. the weather. Yeah, yeah. No, I, uh, I've been. I could talk about my newest video. I don't yeah. know. Is that yes. what we're supposed to talk about? Do it. Yeah. Talk about anything. Okay. Yeah. Talk about anything so uh, I'm trying to Naruto run faster than uh, the Usain Bolt. Nice. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So his record's like 27 miles an hour. I'm trying to break that. Were you able but, to? Yeah. How fast did you get? 29. I feel That's like. Cool. Moving your legs it's kind of that cheating. fast is going to almost be harder than like it, no like, exactly and I, I like I wasn't able to so I had to like figure out a way to move my legs slower but still be able to like yeah like jumping I don't know I did you video. Uh, did you did hour? you use no, uh, my suggestion for the end of the video uh, what was your suggestion so my again. suggestion was to uh, I guess Usain Bolt's girlfriend actually has like a pretty oh, large yeah, yeah. Instagram <laughs> following and it was to yeah. try and get into her right DMs because he's faster now Jake is faster than Usain Bolt <laughs> yeah, well, it's just like DMing her and being like hey, like, <laughs> hey. I, get, I got the 29 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'll uh, see how the rough cut looks. You should definitely do that. Yeah, yeah, I can't think of any other way to end that video. I think okay. The, yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> with the with the cold DM to yep. Saint Bolt's girlfriend. <laughs> Alan, you're the best. He would idea. still dust me. There's no chance. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna shove and beat the shit out of me. He with would. His arms. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. I'm gonna use my legs on this. <laughs> if you thought my legs were fast, you should see my arms. <laughs> 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 oh. What about the uh, death pack video? I, I rebuilt it, so what, it's not death? a death Is pack. It yeah, it's a. Uh, I'll show you pictures, of it, or you can just come look at it. But yeah, it's mm. it's basically instead of giant fans, it's a lot of the little ones that you saw. Okay, and it's like put together better. You saw like the it frame looks of a it, lot right? better. It's a little better. Yeah, it pack. looks like jet pack. Oh, but, jet uh, or death. I did say death did pack. Say death pack. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is a death pack. No, yeah, but now it's a jet pack. It was a death pack. It, now it it's won't still be transitioning, I think. Still a little bit of a death Because it's all off the shelf stuff now. That's better. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And honestly, uh -huh. if the idea works, I'm going to steal it and yeah. um, turn myself into a quadcopter. <laughs> and also, I want to make a flying bike. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be amazing. Why did Chelsea but I had to reduce the weight of the quadcopter since it was carrying me <laughs> by only a few pounds. I could either not eat for a couple of days, but I decided to get naked instead. <laughs> <laughs> You're flying. You're flying. And you like have a huge it's just a huge, like a huge blur. blur. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're dragging like a foot it, under yeah, you. Yeah. Huge you, can see, you can see like bend in the wind yeah, yeah. when you start going just, forward. Yeah. And blown you just like tell people that you're not good at editing, so the only way you can figure out a blur was to blur the whole thing. So you just see this giant blurry thing flying through the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, that's me. Yep. Uh huh. You might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> well, I built the machine, took all my clothes off, strapped myself to it, and now I'm like, that's the whole story. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I think between, it's like between you and Nigel and I did a thing, Alex. Mm -hmm. How are your simps? How crazy are they? Uh, DMs get a little weird. A sometimes. little weird, but not yeah. like nuts. Good weird or bad weird? I don't know. What do you. What do you define as good weird versus bad? I don't weird? know. That's up to you. That's up to me, I guess. Huh? <laughs> I mean, like, some weird than others, some flattering. You, you know how it is. Like, uh, is it is it men detail. or is it women? Both. 
mostly a lot of men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Gonna, I didn't want to speculate, but that's the. Yep, it's it's, it's always men. men. Yeah. It's, it's like, I like both. Both. A lot of men. A lot of men. It's Mostly one of those things that you it's knew like, the answer uh, to that before asking. I feel. I feel. I feel like a very like weird jealousy sometimes because <laughs> I've never gotten a dick pic in my DMs. I think mm. everyone Alan, else here asking for it I think right every now. Every other person so on this podcast. Dick you're about you to check your DMs. A dick pic. I do occasionally, but yeah. Alex, now every night he goes to bed, he's just like maybe. So it's like it's like one of those things where it's like it's like I'm glad I don't morning. get dick pics, but I'm also kind of like upset yeah, that I don't get yeah. dick pics. Alan, this is gonna help you out mm -hmm. by by airing you get out your so yep. many. Dick pics. You know how many dick pics you're about to get? Yes. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely. Yes. I think I, I, had a, I had a very similar with a uh, uh, conversation with Simone. She was like, she was like, you know, people just like trying to like buy her, like you know, like old socks and stuff. And I was like, that is disgusting. But I'm also kind of jealous because no one ever asked yeah. to buy my old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I don't want them. You to. should sell them. I feel like why wouldn't you not sell them? Like you're not if you if they're old and you're truly gonna throw them away. Yeah, but people who want that stuff want it like for like weird reasons where they want yeah. it like, unwashed. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That it saves you, don't you, have to wash you don't even have to wash it. <sighs> you could you could. You could just buy socks. Mm -hmm. I feel like even engaging with somebody who wants that. And then you could never that, have to wash it. Like, yeah. Well, I think what you do is you no. The real trick, I think, is you buy new socks, you spray them with fart spray, and then you mail them off like that. Right? Or you have somebody else wear them. <laughs> I think I get I get a lot. Of, it's all dudes. Yeah, a lot of yeah, dudes. It's right? All dudes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean. They're the most aggressive. Yeah, yeah. How come? Why does Nigel? Why? Why do you get women? He gets the aggressive girls though. Yeah. Who? You? No. Yeah. Well, on TikTok. Yeah. 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 Uh, only on the platform where I have 10 million followers. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, yeah. I would go buck wild. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever see you in public. <laughs> No, I'm they, going buck wild on you, Nigel. Nobody has said that. <laughs> yes, they be, did. Not if yeah, I ever did. see you in public. No, but that's <laughs> not. That's, <laughs> that's like a threat. <laughs> if I ever see you in public. <laughs> that's like a straight up threat. <laughs> yeah. Alan, do you think you've watched that video more than anyone? <laughs> maybe. Actually, Probably. maybe. Yeah, yeah. I feel like every Probably. time I see you, you're like, Look at this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the person who's watched that See, he TikTok talks about the most it a lot. number of times is probably me. It's actually. weird, yeah. right? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> he's a fan of a fan. You know, I'm he's a, like at Gene at yeah. G E N E. I'm a big fan of their uh, TikTok account yeah, their mm -hmm. of their one of their, TikTok. Yeah. The rest of their videos are crap, but yeah, that, that one that video is really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't. Know, did you see mm -hmm. Thor? No, I'm salty about that. Why? Because they invited uh, me to the premiere and then uninvited me. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? I saw that TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was it like on your birthday? Too? Yeah, on my birthday. It would, the premiere would have been on my birthday. And uh, they What were happened? Like, I don't know. I didn't even know, like, like that wasn't even on my radar. But then I got the email and I was like, oh, this is awesome. Like, be the best birthday yeah, ever. Yeah, but they said it in a way where it was like, please, like, let us know ASAP. Yeah, like, yeah, it sounds yeah. like someone dropped or something. They had uh -huh. to fill a spot. And yeah, so we let probably, them know instantly. Yeah, I did. And then they came back and said, "Oh, sorry." Yeah, where it was like, "Don't, ask, don't tell them." No, that I know. A, I didn't like, even realize I needed to be that's like so disrespectful because like that's something where like, oh, I have to, I'd cancel plans with somebody because it's I like I called my mom and invited a date. <laughs> that's bad. It was funny, <laughs> honestly. Like, no, it was it was a uh, very funny looking back, but it's not I'm, like, funny. As I'm funny crying. Whoever's back. in charge of inviting people to these premieres, Bad. you're an asshole. Yeah, I think you owe the entirety of Safety Third tickets to the next yes. Marvel premiere movie exactly. to yes. make it up to Jake Laser. And yes. A yes. And, and yeah. a birthday and present. And a kiss for... from Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah on the list. For no less than 10 seconds. Yeah. Passionate. Oh my God, that's yeah. Uh, I, that's really smart because I'm pretty sure he would have kept it really short. No, I know you got to. Uh, and contract, you have to use time, Robert. Yep. <laughs> but he's not even in the movie. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, who okay. cares? <laughs> and Chris okay. Hemsworth, whatever. Yeah, both of them. A three-way yeah. kiss. Yes. Yes. Tongue. Ten seconds. Yes. Or uh, who else? Uh, Chris. Chris Evans. Yeah, Vin I'll Diesel? throw him in the mix. Vin Diesel. Yeah, Vin Diesel. Why not? Pretty cool. Yeah. He's. I don't think he's. Is he in the movie? He's no. Groot. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 I don't know if he's still Groot, but he was Groot. Mm. So is that. I kind of feel like, good like um, there's no chance we ever get sponsored by Mo or anything, so we can talk some shit. I kind of feel like the movies have gotten a little bit weird. Wait, yeah. You don't think you get sponsored by them? No. Okay. No. Well, they don't sponsor anybody. Marvel? 
Yeah. yeah. Like their games like not, and stuff. Not they directly. Do. Not directly. Yeah. 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 You know, but, yeah. It's like a game yeah. company that's licensed their yeah. stuff and then you get I'm like, still hoping. I don't know. I used to like, like <laughs> the whole, the whole, Jake, whole like, guys, shut up. up. <laughs> the whole arc, uh-huh. like from Iron Man up to, you know, the, the big yeah, war. Avengers, the end game. Yeah. Um, was like fantastic. Yeah. And I, it kind of feels a little bit like, like we just watched uh, Thor and Doctor Strange kind of mm. in like the same week because we had, mm-hmm. didn't see Doctor Strange when it came out in theaters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it kind of felt like they don't really have like any sort of... Mm, right. Everyone's like, separate now sort of. Yeah, it's like it's separate, but also just a little bit... I don't know. There's, there's also just too much now. Yeah. Like I haven't mm-hmm. even seen the last two shows on Disney Plus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like mm-hmm. it's like it's what shows just, were they? It's a uh, Miss Marvel and um the 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 one with the Oscar Isaac. The, yeah. Um, oh, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Yeah. It definitely starts to feel like there's almost like the world is like too saturated with heroes, and so it doesn't really make any sense. Mm-hmm. Like it just it yeah. almost feels like well, how are there any problems? I don't. It just, there's something about it that feels a little bit like it doesn't explain itself anymore. Like yeah. before, it used to just be like, ah, oh, this works because it's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was much more linear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and now it's like it's co- it's like kind of a little too wide now. Like yeah, they need to like out. bring it back in. Yeah, it's like bit. imagine like you ever seen that SNL skit where they take like you know they make it it's like the super taco from the Mexican restaurant. Oh right, yeah, it like keeps going. And, and they just going, like oh and, and then going. and now and then we wrap it in a pizza and, then, and you're just kind of like. Man, I would have been okay with just like the taco. It's like, yeah. It kind of just like almost feels like you gotta like you know they gotta there's some sort of like you know yeah yeah mm. like who's even the the main bad guy at this point right there it's is supposed, it's supposed to be the yeah. one the the one that was in Loki right the that mm. guy the one above all right? oh yeah uh, uh, I don't even remember his name yeah, yeah. like it's just mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. so what are you gonna what are you gonna build once the Marvel wells run dry. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, you're asking questions. I don't have the answers. We'll see if I can uh, transition. I, Maybe some snake stuff. That seems to be snake meta. Where it's at. Snake meta. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's that's like the the like benefit of sort of like because I, I I did mm-hmm. that a lot. Right? Is like mm-hmm. tying in sort of a video with like you know a big pop culture movie yeah. release. So like uh-huh. the benefit is you sort of like get to ride exactly like a, yeah, like like a super exposure wide. wave. Yeah, exactly. Everyone but then about it. the downside is that if uh, if that if that ever stops being popular, then mm-hmm. you stop being popular. Yeah, I mean, you there's like a million movies though that are already out. like you don't have to do things right as they drop. I don't think mm. that's not something like you know, it's not necessary. Hmm. Or none hmm. of it's really necessary. You could just make videos about anything. Like there's so many cool things that people haven't done yet. Could what, try and, what's your stupidest idea? I tried very briefly to do like some joke ideas. I wanted to do. I built a toaster that ejects itself instead of the bread. Oh, wait, so it's mm, yeah, it like yeah. upside down, kind mm. of like the bread stays on the counter. Yeah, the, the bread stays and the toaster the launches itself. Yeah. That's such a, that's such like a classic kind of early like Simone or movie yeah. style yeah, yeah. video. That just, that stuff just doesn't do well anymore. Like, yeah. who gives a shit? I mean, if it was short if, form though, yeah. I mean, look at like the necessary like, invention. Yeah, right? I just yeah. didn't, I just don't know how to make that sort of video or like, I, like I don't have enough practice. Those are like, I mean? unless you can do like, it's like a little thing that you want to do and mm-hmm. be able to make a short video. It feels like a huge like waste of time to try to make a piece of content short mm-hmm. form like if you can't figure out how to make it mm-hmm. longer like yeah i don't understand how people do any of these like tiktok engineering things mm-hmm. and they spend like forever working on them and then they post a tiktok which it's just like how do you yeah nigel, no, I don't, nigel. I don't, it doesn't take that long to put them together i agree with will <laughs> yeah the engineering stuff takes longer for sure huh yeah but like what's 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 the formula of what for of TikTok? your shorts, you always talk yeah, about give the, us formula. The, yeah, sauce, the formula. Daddy. No, Daddy I'm so Nigel. I'm tired now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the words oh. can't come out. I try to when they ask for that, my help and my secrets, I get tired. <laughs> yeah. You can't fine. Be if you don't want to give us secrets, secrets, just give us some I'm of your just money. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just get now. straight to what we want. <laughs> just <laughs> money, baby. Yeah, yeah. Money. Just the secret. Cut everything out. Money <laughs> comes down. To you, I hate <laughs> making videos. I just love huge piles of money. That is mm-hmm. the secret. That's why we're all doing it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the huge piles of huge money. Huge piles of money. <laughs> the smell, actually, the smell of money. When we were at the Mr. Beast. They had the big money pits. Oh yeah, and it smells bad. Yeah, really. Money doesn't yeah. smell. Yeah, well, because it's, it's all like finger oil. Oh yeah, it's true. Like, it has this just sort of really gross, earthy smell to it. Where like, are these money pits? It's just in your warehouse. Where are these where, money? Pits? Okay, there was literally back up. dollar bills on the ground, and they were just garbage. Nobody picked them up because were they, they real? 
Yes. Yeah. It was actually. Does he actually use real the money? The floor was for like covered a lot in of actual yeah. crumpled yeah, up both. dollar bills. And they were just saying that because it was like worthless to be in that yeah. context. Yeah. It didn't even matter to pick yeah. up a dollar off the ground. You can you fill your pants up with a couple hundred bucks and it means nothing because you're stuck in this room. You're just yeah, there be there was a trash can where people were just sweeping up dollar bills. That's so no, funny. they weren't. The, I, so there, out of I grabbed one it's out of like, the trash can and it smelled really bad. <laughs> Did you keep it? I, I think I gave it back to Jimmy, actually. That mm. was uh, in the snake oh, yeah. video He's like, where I give this? him the dollar. That's the dollar I'm giving oh, really? back to him. And he was like, you probably stole this. I was like, yeah. yeah I, did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You're right. It's just like so out of touch. You know what I mean? It's like. I Okay. The thing, though, is that when you're working on something like that, mm -hmm. it there is a point. In a time where it makes more sense to throw yeah, money no, away. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not saying they're like wrong for it. I'm just saying like it sounds. It sounds look at it from an outside perspective. It's like mm. what? It's not very much. That's what you, there's yeah. like five one dollar bills in yeah. the garbage. It's like, yeah. Okay. Like what do you do? You ha you like instruct somebody to go and collect like gross dirty they're, money off the yeah. ground and like unfold it they're, and put it back in. Time would probably be worth more. But than there's that. yeah exactly. Yeah. I think the problem is more that there's also this weird thing that if you it's like when I worked in a grocery store and they're like you can't eat the fruits, mm -hmm. even if they're like not good. A, it's a liability, yeah. but B, it would then incentivize the workers to like say fruits not good. So I'm saying that in theory, mm -hmm. if you're this like, money's no if good. you're like, this oh, any, any money that's swept <laughs> up in garbage, right here. you should like take. You don't want this. And it, it, it's like people would just then, oops, I dropped the money and then you don't, it's hard to track where it's going. I don't know. I but it's, like it's never that much. It's like I know, it's tens like, of dollars. But I'm saying yeah. that, like there's so much more money wasted I'm just that's that, already been spent that mm -hmm. it's almost like if like throwing actual cash in yeah. the trash feels bad. But when you think about how much stuff that's oh, worth money yeah. gets thrown in the trash, it's way worse. Mm -hmm. I'm just oh saying that God. if you- if Yeah, you, just bad spending. If you tell people nobody can like, you know, whatever, you're supposed to sweep it up and put it here. Yeah. If you told them like, oh, you should pick it up. I'm just saying like you does open the doors to people like, accidentally like dropping the money and picking it up it's you can't track anything i think that it's like it would be so Even difficult it, to any like there's so many there's so much money in that yeah, like no. in those pits you that, can't track you know, it anyway you yeah. can't track it anyways mm -hmm. and like what are you gonna I don't do know like, like, like I didn't, I wasn't what's even worst there. case scenario like what would it look like somebody leaving with ten thousand dollars of crumpled like up ones like That'd it would be, funny. be it would be like i want to see that like oh, yeah. santa claus style <laughs> thing with it like you could probably leave yeah. at most a couple hundred bucks yeah in ones mm -hmm. and it would almost still be like comically yeah it wouldn't matter mm -hmm. yeah i mean the, the that's like the funny thing about i think whenever you see like like uh, a tv show or even like a large scale video that involves like smashing a bunch of watermelons or whatever and like mm -hmm. they kind of always assure you like oh don't worry like we ate this after so it doesn't go to waste and people don't realize the sheer amount of waste that comes out of a production that size mm -hmm. like the water the yeah, food that's... doesn't matter yeah it was like when we were at vidcon and we were like looking at the dumpster outside, yes. and there was like a oh. whole brand new popcorn machine just in the dumpster really yeah because it was just like set dressing that they didn't even need i think that it may have actually been out. broken yeah. too so like maybe it showed up broken so they threw it away or maybe it was maybe. set dressing maybe they but, used it but then it's like what did they do with it Right. Yeah. Well, we made use of it. We for did. Emily we did. Did you use video. It? Yeah. Oh, really? Did you we, smash it? we launched it with a battle bot. <laughs> nice. nice. I, I was. I think with grocery stores, I don't know what the actual percentage mm -hmm. is. I thought it was like twenty percent or something of, of like mm. produce they just throw away, mm -hmm. or more. I think it's higher than that. I, it, wow. I don't know what the actual number is. It's just like they get it. It kind of mm. like looks bad, or it just didn't sell in time, so like they you end up throwing it out. Mm. But it's like mm -hmm. it's quite it's things? quite big, I mean, and for, just so uh, that the fruit looks good to the customer, it's at least like it's like a lot yeah. of food just gets chucked. Farm to table, mm. it's a loss That's of forty percent. Yeah, total for food. Like like stuff at every step of the way, you waste some food, right? Yeah, and transportation. It's like more efficient. Sure. to do that though and then and then like once it does get into your house like sometimes you just buy but, stuff and it goes back so i guess cook it. i guess the point i'm saying is like in the grocery store no one wants the apple with like the little blemish on it so right. they throw the mm -hmm. whole apple out mm -hmm. and that's just lux yeah, yeah they, for the most part sometimes they take the that unused fruit and like turn it to other stuff though like, not that ideally. Ideally. Yeah, but you they, need, they, you I, need to have a steady really? supply of that yeah we just fruit. compost it like you just mm -hmm. chuck it right into the compost now it's like yeah. you know people love the idea blend it and make just a fruit concoction i don't know but like, you but that's the thing is like if you are ha making a secondary product with like mm -hmm. like disposed Waste. of fruit yeah. you still now have to have a steady supply of like those yeah. low-grade apples uh -huh. and so it's like if you have one apple what are you gonna do like build a whole infrastructure around yeah no it's not one thing. obviously but like but if dozens you, is dozens enough maybe for there's depends there's a on lot what of scale off, but then it's like but how it, many from ev from like, like what part of the like the uh, from like farm to like the mm. store, do you pick, are these apples coming from? It's like at our grocery store, you're not gonna, you're losing like, let's say like 
uh, whatever, not that many apples per day. Mm-hmm. It's like you can't, what are you going to go to every grocery store and no, collect yeah. the apples? Yeah. It doesn't really make and any sense. And now it's like, oh, we don't have enough apples for the pies that we're making. So now we have to start using the good apples. And yeah. then all of it, it just, it just is kind of like, like, wait, mm-hmm. it's so much easier yeah. to just use the good apples. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of trying to like dig through and scroll yeah. yeah. for a weird one. <laughs> the bad yeah. ones. Yeah. Huh. I think but, that a lot of stuff is really complicated and nobody actually knows how a lot of things work, but it's easy to like criticize. Even, there's a lot, there is a bunch mm-hmm. of bad stuff that does happen. Just as one of the yeah. comments, when my cousin worked at, or yeah, worked at Starbucks, this was a long time ago. Every time they close, they throw out all of their uh, yeah. the muffins and yeah. she would have like bags and bags of stuff because at the time they're supposed to give it to like a food mm-hmm. thing, like mm-hmm. for homeless people. Yeah. But when they wouldn't come around, she's like, I just, I literally have like a hunt, like some, not that many, I think it was like, 30 muffins and like a bunch of cookies mm-hmm. it was before they even like were making a lot more of the food that they do. So we ended up just having muffins, like mm-hmm. constant supply of muffins. But it's like, if we didn't pick them up, I don't know if she was supposed to even give it to us. They just get thrown out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's like, that's at every franchise yeah. in yeah. the country. Yeah. So much. Work. I think of like every restaurant. From, from like a food stuff. perspective though, it's probably more important to have too much food than not enough food. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. if you're running a business where it's like you if you're oh, yeah, selling hamburgers, sure. it's like mm-hmm. you need to be able to always sell hamburgers at every minute that you're open. Yeah. Or you're going to actually like Wait, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Nigel <laughs> have a story about just this problem. We go to the A&W. They were out of buns. They couldn't sell a single product. Yeah. Well, they could oh. the, the, the shakes and the fries. They could. But no, yes. no burgers, no, no wait, sandwiches. Where was this at? A and W in Florida. Yeah, oh, wow. but the thing was, it was a split restaurant, so it was one of those combos. So it was an A oh. and W and a Long John Silver's. Dude, okay. I, I just for the life of me, you can't. Don't go to split restaurants. Uh, I, but so here's the reason you do. No, is that, because this is an anomaly. The A and W was out of buns, but the Long John Silver's <laughs> oh, wasn't. Go. But they had a long, a little, like, uh, like yeah, sub sandwich type bun. <laughs> so oh, that's kind of cool. To yeah. make, what what is the NW burger called? The Big Papa or whatever. It was the Papa burger. The Papa yeah. burger. We asked them to make a Papa burger with a Long John Silver like hoagie bun, and <laughs> the yes. the Long Papa was born, and it was one of the, the, the most Papa. disgusting it, things I I've I ever like had. I don't like that name. So bad. It was. It I looked, think it gave me like mild I don't like food that name. <laughs> I didn't oh, feel good gosh. for like. It was terrible. It upset my stomach the for like long the whole papa. day. Do you ever feel good? <laughs> the long I don't like papa that. was terrible. Oh, the Alan, name and the Alan place. Agreed. Is Alan said there was something weird about it. It was really it. yeah. It was something about like the Long John Silver's like fish oil or something in the the long hoagie bun, oh. along with the fact that it was being made by like three essentially children. Always that the were weirdest thing the place. That they were, They're I mean, like, yeah, our manager left. We don't really know what we're doing. Oh, <laughs> There's a guy, a customer. Because we came in and talked to them. A customer came in and stood there for so long with not getting service. He's like, screw this, and just laughed. It was probably like 10 minutes or more that he just stood there and they didn't even acknowledge I think him. that man made a and very he, smart decision. He was the yeah. only customer. Probably what we should have done. We traded them Polaroid photos for the burger. Oh well, for God. the food? No, we did, but we traded them like, because they didn't want to make Yeah, they didn't want to make the long pop up. Ethically, they were. Yeah, we're like, sir, we, we can't do, do this. Yeah. We cannot do this for, for you. For defiling God. Yeah. By mixing long You're playing God. They did for some Polaroids. <laughs> what do you call That's that? What happened. And then we What's got a photo creature? with all the whole staff. The, the creature human animal hybrid. Oh, the humanzy? No, not that one. The other one. Humanzy. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean the other uh, one? Ligers? No. What do they call that? Like Full Metal Alchemist when they do this. Oh, the chimeras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Some horrible <laughs> fast food chimera. <laughs> it wasn't good. It it was it wasn't yeah bad. it wasn't good no I was gonna say it it's was classic. bad the classic is it wasn't good it wasn't yeah. bad no it was my bad. my, <laughs> was bad. my, Actually, no my advice it, my personal experience don't go to those mixed fast food restaurants I will argue it's against either, that I don't what? know in in Montreal we had a lot of Taco Bell KFC combos uh, and they were great they were great I met the pizza, pizza hut, hut. Yeah, I met the, the Taco, Taco Bell. Bell I met the combination pizza hut and Taco Bell there you so go that's a good song. I just feel yeah. like logistically we had that, the or two menus pizza hut and Taco two menus Bell. yes and like one restaurant with the same staff has to like maintain both menus and it's great that's like food poisoning city. <laughs> I've never Taco Bell and KFC have been have treated me very well back home. Do you, you ever like? Uh, really? I'm buy surprised them you do well with Taco Bell. I've never had a problem with Taco Bell. Do you ever like I'm buy surprised. a Taco Bell and KFC at the same time? Yeah, and, like, mix and match. I've never mixed and matched. Okay, okay. Because <sighs> I used to um, in high school, me and my friends used to do this insane friendsgiving where 
we each had to get ten dollars worth of fast food but that was like back when the dollar menu like had a lot of stuff on it and at all these places and the rule was none of us could it was in my friend's basement none of us could leave until all the food was done and so this just led to these this like just insanity where it's like you know there's a bunch of teenage boys and like there was a bathroom down there and so i remember very distinctly one year like one of one of the boys uh, went to take a dump in the bathroom, but he left the door open so he could keep throwing tacos at him so he could eat while he was pooping. Why? And he so that he became like a continuous stream of efficiency because oh. we couldn't leave until it was all gone. I don't. What? I don't know what this sounds I don't like. Know if we would have been from a saw movie what? in high school. Alan. <laughs> Who's stopping you from leaving? Who's stopping you? Us. It was our <laughs> self-imposed you must honor. Eat all you the must tacos. Eat all the food. And so it was like, it's so. Still alive? Yeah, Alan, I think who so. Are these? But like that, that <laughs> so it gave us an odd opportunity where we like we each went to a different fast food restaurant, so you could make monstrosities where it's like you could like like open up your double cheeseburger and put like Panda Express like toppings on the inside and close it up and wrap it in a pizza and just like eat the whole thing. Wow. Oh. It sounds like, what's I that? Where they make, like, vor yeah. or whatever? Where they make people eat? <laughs> no, that's not vor. <laughs> that's where you eat people. People yeah. eat you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the one where you feed people? I don't know. Feeding. I don't know. Feeding. Baby birding. <laughs> mm. It's not that. That's Alan. like, that was literally epic meal time. That was actually just the entire yeah. stick of epic, epic diabetes meal time. time. Epic. Yeah, <laughs> like, epic that's not time. that bad. Yeah. And see where the judgment is coming from. Here. You're gonna die young. Alan's now. like, I'm <laughs> sorry, I shared my I'm story. I'm gonna untelescope this poll now. It's okay. You should feel ashamed. You should feel yourself. ashamed of that story. You should call all your friends and tell them how much you regret. <laughs> what are you Don't doing break there? it, Alan. That looks. You should do this that. Is so, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> the last one think, won't go back. I'm yet. trying to think if we did anything horrendous like that, and I just. I don't think food related, but you you just want to hurt me. <laughs> you. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, help him out, Will. You get uh, that last bit in. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, see? It's not going back in. Oh, I just pinched the crap out of <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> we need like five minutes of this. Maybe just time us. No, I don't want to <laughs> touch that. You don't want to try it? No, just <laughs> try and get it back in. It's not going back in. Jake, try and get that back in. The last bit's not going in. No, do it the way we were doing it. No, no, I'm not going to give you that satisfaction. Exactly. This podcast is really gone. This is... Oh, you're going to break it. Oh, Oh, wait, did it go in? No, it didn't. Oh. Well, I guess that's just the new... uh, I guess uh, this is it. The new retracted link. That's where the two stars come from. (laughs) I just remember a couple of times, like I had some friends that would go to like, oh, you could eat sushi. And they just would not stop. And it was not like in a good way. It mm. just was, I don't, I don't understand. I just kept ordering. It's like, please stop. Cause you have to pay if you don't eat everything. Mm. And it's like, please stop ordering. And it just almost became like this traumatizing experience where I wouldn't go. I would say, no, I'm not going. Cause would they end up having to pay? No, because everyone would be like, They'd eat it, eat way too much. And it's like, why are you paying money to make yourself feel bad? Yeah. I did that at sushi mm. where I sometimes would eat too much and I'd be sitting with a friend and be like, we can't finish this. And I would literally go outside and walk around. Just oh like, to just, like free up some yeah, or room. something just being like we have to do this we have to, like you're and you're in your head like why am I in this situation how do I get out of it and you're just like walking mm. around outside it's just like yeah. it's just, and then it's same like Will said you're like I thought I came here to have fun <laughs> yeah and now you're like, actually <laughs> feeling bad yeah yeah your stomach doesn't feel good and you're, you're thinking about like eight more or ten more pieces you have to eat but you can't mm-hmm. even eat one and you're like kind of like and then at the end I went with one friend I'm like wait wait. This just costs like ten bucks. Why are we stress- <laughs> stressing so much? We'd be like oh. so stressed. But then, yeah, I've never had to pay. Thankfully, this is making me hungry. Actually, can I talk about my embroidery machine? No. Sure. Yeah. yeah. No. Yes. Will's been that, getting that, that'll save really this podcast. into in, this embroidery machine. It's like every couple of weeks. You just kind of get like obsessed with a thing for like mm-hmm. yeah. a few weeks every few weeks. Yeah. And so it was what? It was like it was like learning how to fly a helicopter. It was mm. painting in Florida and that's how we ended up with that. Um Great and I guess you. now it's an embroidery machine. <laughs> okay, William Osmond, what is No, now I don't want to talk about what it. What is <laughs> an embroidery machine? It's a machine that embroiders things. <laughs> How does it work? Uh, yeah. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> no. He finally found an Alan, audience. Alan's like a supportive autism. father. No, I, I, 
so we were trying to get like samples made for more merch mm -hmm. and i oh, like the oh wait where's the are you, are you allowed oh, to show here. any of the pre-release Chelsea, can you throw me the butthole yeah i think i, I think guess. that's gonna come out after the video so that's fine Keep okay throwing. thank you throw me the butthole yeah <laughs> um yeah, yeah. so i <laughs> you knew exactly yeah <laughs> get a close-up of that that's I mean, I only took that's I, art right I, there. I wore that for the last two. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. yeah, but now we're uh, actually drawing attention mm. to it, so um. people can go back and watch the previous <laughs> weeks and see what you were wearing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I kind of I did like a deep dive into Which the world of embroidery, awesome. and I've learned a lot. And it's not it's not necessarily good things either. <laughs> um, basically, people who <laughs> I mean this in the kindest way possible, people who run embroidery businesses don't do a good job <laughs> mm. and I mean, it's basically how many people could possibly run embroidery business like how many people did we really insult just that it can't be yeah. it's at least dozen. like yeah i was gonna say yeah, it's one dozen. but a few yeah. dozen is more likely uh and it makes sense because when people are doing embroidery it turns out that like i don't want to say the margins are thin but like you have to make a lot of stuff mm. and and sewing machines are really complicated like if you've ever seen one moving, I you're kind still of don't internal. understand how. And yours is like a sewing machine times that. twenty. It's Fifteen sewing machines oh, wow. in one machine. Yeah. So there's one actuator, uh -huh. but then the whole head needle head moves, so it like selects which actuator it's or which needle it's applying the actuator to. But there's like a bunch of cams. There's a handful of mm -hmm. cams. So there's like there's like one. Two, th I think there's three articulating components. So one of them is controlling the little foot that comes mm -hmm. down to put pressure. Uh, it controls. I think that controls the needle as well. I think they're connected. Can then we put graphics over this? Because I know yeah. I am already like, yeah. just, okay. like having but, trouble. So not, I guess I know that really matters. But like, long <laughs> story short, they're very like finicky, mm -hmm. and if they don't work very well, they like kind of just break or do a bad right. job. They're like they're like specialty oh, machines, so they don't have to be sort of like consumer friendly. Like yes. they don't mm -hmm. have a good interface. But it turns out they're not even industrially friendly. <laughs> and so what happens is if people are like making garments with their embroidery machine, like uh -huh. a factory mm -hmm. you know, or like a local shop and the machine breaks, like for the most part, they're just screwed. They have to like call a technician. It's like mm -hmm. the machines break and a lot of people don't know how to actually fix them. So then they, they hire someone to come out and fix it. And so what I think that means is a lot of embroidery machines are just running really, really badly. Because unless it's like actually not working, they're not gonna spend the money to hire somebody out to come and like tune it. They're just gonna let it, you know, it's like you're driving your car and it's making a weird noise and mm -hmm. you're just like, eh. Oh, that's what that's I've been doing for the last two years. You're like, yeah. this is fine. <laughs> so. I've driven it. Nothing's wrong with Alan's car. It's a great car. car. No, it's, no a great it's, car. Just, it's just a very old bad this car. This is not a safe car. <laughs> it's an amazing <laughs> car. <laughs> Chelsea's memorized I've been a in video this car that doesn't a lot even the last few yet. weeks yeah, well, and do you uh, like it? are you a fan I think it's safe I think it's, it's anyways perfect. I bought my own embroidery machine <laughs> <laughs> it's a good brain break when you're in between it is good but it's like it, it's I've learned it's a lot like a about the whole process and it, it's well, it's yeah. pretty cool it's like 3d printing except the machine's more of a nightmare right right I think oh. it was <laughs> what did we say it was like oh it's like a it 3d, like 3D printer, printer minus one of the dimensions <laughs> so and, just somehow, printer. and somehow that makes it worse <laughs> yeah a 3d printer like minus dimension and add more complexity it's like just a really it's it's funny how similar the process of like like any sort of CNC machine requires yeah. you have uh -huh. to have some sort of file that goes into it mm -hmm. but then some that sort file of G, is it g-code uh oh, it's no. I basically basically mm -hmm. um but you need like some sort of like what do you put it what do you want to make right so you have to somehow mm -hmm. say i'm going to make something mm -hmm. how do you uh, make that which thing for computer. embroidery is like an image mm -hmm. or a vector file mm -hmm. and then you have to say how do i want to actually make it it's like 3d printing right it's like what do i have you have a model but then how do you actually make the model and so it's like just learning essentially about like the the, the cam process mm -hmm. for embroidery yeah, I I mean I think uh, it was a couple months ago I got really into solving Rubik's cubes. There was there was a period yeah. of time where like I would I would solve a Rubik's cube and I'd be really excited to get it messed up again, but I didn't want to mess up myself because it felt too easy. So I'd give it to Chelsea so that she could scramble it and mm -hmm. she'd give it back. It was kind of like a weird like complicated game of fetch with a dog mm -hmm. where I would like <laughs> yeah and here, I, here and I would like <laughs> wait for her to like scramble the cube for me. Yeah. 
So I mean, I I, I kind of get that. You're like just picking up like a weird, weird sort of like obsession, like a, a like a bit. yeah for yeah. two weeks, mm-hmm. getting really like, obsessed with like something. League, and then just, right? I don't even remember how to do a Rubik's cube. Anymore. <laughs> league is gonna be much more than two weeks. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> oh, Nigel's league addiction. He's back on league. Yeah, wh- why don't you tell us about man. your league addiction? It's Nigel. a very measured addiction this time, though. <laughs> That's that, what what I, does measured addiction even <laughs> mean? Oh, uh, a functional addiction. Functional addiction. Yeah. He's a functional uh, okay, okay. league user. I'm keeping yeah. the addiction at bay. Because mm-hmm. it's like, like right now, uh, me and Nigel are roommates right now. And it's just like, if it, if there's just quiet time for like a few minutes. A few minutes? From the from the living room, I'll just hear frantic clicking. And I know yeah, exactly what it is. Oh my god, yeah, that was happening. Click, 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 Oh my god, there's something in the, like, the ceiling. Yeah. There's an attack. It's just him clicking. Well, the, the click, funny click, part click, is because the, the the champions that I play require constant clicking. <laughs> it's not, it sounds like the testing <laughs> facility <laughs> at like Logitech. Like, you there's actually, like a robot that just clicks the mouse all day, except it's yeah, actually yeah. just Nigel. Like you yeah. need to click it constantly. I actually thought, like, oh no, 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 there's something broken in our house. I was like, oh, well, the, the engineer time, the engineers are like that. talking how they doubled the uptime of the testing machine by just putting Nigel in there. <laughs> Chelsea, there is something broken. We have to spend half a million dollars on this button clicking machine. Somehow there's less downtime when a human doing it when the machines just, are doing we just threw this sweaty loser gamer in the room and a copy of league of legends on a shitty laptop because you were you were trying to show me how sort of like the fundamentals of league of legends work and it just it it like it's it like made me understand why like old people can't figure out like you try and show like an mm, older yeah. person a video game uh, it's like, it's like, just, it was just it, like, colors is... and numbers and fractals and <laughs> it's like what you'd imagine the fourth dimension to look like <laughs> if you could perceive it it was like explosion it's like i don't see what's it's like i'm in the middle of a fight and it's like yeah, it was like the end of Interstellar when Matthew McConaughey <laughs> drops into that infinite labyrinth of rooms. Like, that's what it looked yeah. like to me trying to look at League of Legends. What? And you're like, that's nice, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're having fun. I gave up yeah. trying to explain it to Alan. He just, he couldn't even figure out what, I, I wasn't even moving and he couldn't figure out what you're was like, happening. You're like, oh, like, look at this. You see how cool that is? It's like, all look the same. I couldn't differentiate any of it. I understand that. I get it. I was there one day. One day, maybe, like, if you play, you'll be... You two can become a sweet <laughs> loser. Yeah, exactly. And then you'll understand. You'll... You two get asked to play 10 year Well, because mm-hmm. you were saying that it's one of those things where you could spend, like, a year full time playing yeah. it and still be bad at the game. It depends yeah. how you play it, but, yeah, you could. We played a lot one of, game. Saying, a lot of people... Have have spent like five years and they're still horrible. Nigel convinced us to play wow. one game a few years ago. And, really and I literally well. uninstalled it. I was like, Nigel, this game is horrible. He, like, just, he rage quit wow. on the tutorial six well, months I just, in. I felt wow. like this is one of those games that you were going to have to like dedicate a you huge do. amount yeah. of time mm-hmm. to to even begin to understand. To even to be so bad. To even yeah. begin yeah. to be bad. Exactly. To <laughs> understand that you're bad or how you're bad. It depends like, how you play. Like if you, There are ways to play it where you kind of don't have to know all that, but they're like, because there's different roles you play in the game, but if mm-hmm. you want to play certain ones, yes, if you don't have a lot of knowledge, oh, yeah, you're kind like of just bad. Lanes like and jungles and bushes. And he knows. I, I, it doesn't mean anything Because I was telling him, like, I'm like, Alan, look, when this guy goes in a bush, he can jump to you. <laughs> and Alan's like, what? Why are there bushes? He can hide and I'm like, bush. and like, but this character can look into bushes. Well, no, and then I'm like, no. I'm like so, so I was like, so what I'm doing is I'm putting vision <laughs> Into the bush and keeping my distance. I was like, I'm out. He's like, I'm just, I'm just done. Like this character, yep. this character can specifically hide in bushes, but if you counterpick, this character can look, look into, into the bushes. bushes. The Nigel's happy, you guys. Yes. Is, is he, he though? The drama is makes he me happy. Yeah. I have. Wait, I have a guess here. I'm gonna guess that Jake Laser mm-hmm. does not regularly play video games. Is that correct? But you also know him. So you, no, no, no. Yeah, but I don't um, know him that well. I feel like you knew that. Did, but that's true. I didn't yeah. know him well enough you, to know okay. if he played video no, games. Even if I not. didn't know you even as well as I do. Even if I didn't already tell you that. You <laughs> do, you know, do you know why I would guess that? Why? Because you are like an extremely productive person. <laughs> There's only one I game I could see you playing. What? And it's like it's like sh- first person shooter games. Really? Yeah, you seem like a... He, gets, he gives like, like a college game. Also, kind of no, no, it's also like he wouldn't even play that much. Like he would yeah, do it casually. like... Yes. Mm. Yes, not for more than like an hour at a time. You think I'd have the like the restraint? Yeah, because you are like you actually work a lot on stuff and you make deadlines, and so the fact that like you versus like I feel like, like you're attacking me for Chad, that. No, Chad, Jake here versus like Nigel not making videos anymore, playing League of Legends. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Alan. Like I 
I, I do, yeah. Your house, you guys are immediately outside playing. Like, we I just get hectic, like, yeah. Like, very, very you're chaotic. like a ball kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, <I got> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't want to touch guy. a mouse. Why would I touch a computer mouse when I could touch balls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I much prefer balls. Yeah, I know. But it's I just fun wanna, for activities. Uh, I want to make a point. Yeah. I've only no. started playing since I've been here. Like in LA. Oh, no, it's us. It's no, it's that, like, the for example, yeah. like when Will had to edit, that's why. I would just mm -hmm. have like a few hours. I had nothing to do. Oh, no. It's because oh, of us. Edited for he me. relapsed because of us. Uh -huh. well, <laughs> I know, I'm back right. home, I don't. Well, I, I, I only much. play when I'm not like actively having to work on stuff. Mm -hmm. In the past year, I've probably played a thousand hours of Warzone. <laughs> that's amateur. Wow. That's amateur. Wow. Is that your, that's your one go-to game, you think? Yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. haven't played it recently. He also hates it. It's very. See, that's what you know I don't what you like. It's you, like you know I, it's, it, I play it multiplayer with friends, so okay. we're like. In but Discord. do you get enjoyment? It's just like the intermittent reward that keeps you. In. It's like a it's challenge. Like, I, did you I, ever play what? games? Uh, like when I was growing up, I played like uh, Halo. Mm, like only like friends' houses, mm. but like Same. played a lot of like Mario games. I had this one yeah. like, like I don't even remember the name, but like you would go around and you'd like raise crops or whatever, and like. I don't Farmville? know. Farmville? Like, no, it wasn't Harvest Farmville. Moon? Yeah, it might have been that game. Uh, okay. I, I don't know what it was, but it just made me physically like upset because everything was dying. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's it's traumatized. Yeah, it's probably that yeah, game. Did like, you like that game? Yes and no. You know what I mean? Those are supposed to be like relaxing yeah. games. Do you play Neopets? Like, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Like, Valley? Yeah, Stardew Valley is like a something Harvest was, Moon. Yeah, it was like something off. like that. But I just remember like, why am I putting all of this energy into like this game when I could just be like, doing things in real life. You know what I mean? Boo. That's what I think. I mean, I think, <laughs> I think the same thing, but I do it anyway. playing League. No, that's why I don't, I, like, I back home, I probably play a couple times a week, maybe. Yeah. It's just like, I there's just so much that. added I just stress to my life. You know mm. what I mean? Like, from games like that. Like, I'll play, like, like low-key games that, like, I can just sort of shut my mind off a little bit for, but, like, I think that's I mean? why I like Warzone, is, like, A, you're playing with other people. So yeah, that's important. That's, that's yeah. Important. yeah. Um, and it's like people that I don't live close to, so mm -hmm. it's like you can kind of catch up. And yeah, that them. that you was explaining that to me before. And it like is that, it is total and like complete hundred percent consumption of my brain, and so it's like mm -hmm. if I like I have problems doing like if I'm not like doing work, mm -hmm. I like feel bad. Like mm -hmm. if I haven't gotten enough stu stuff done for the day, it yeah. feels bad. And it's like mm -hmm. the way that I sort of made videos the past couple of years have kind of been not like the healthiest way of doing it, and so it's very mm -hmm. easy to accomplish not a whole lot. And yeah. then if you're trying to figure out what's wrong with the video or why it feels like you're not super happy with it, it's like, how do you, what are you going to, you know, it's just, uh -huh. it's like not a great headspace. Yeah. And then if I like, oh, I'm going to go work on something else. It's almost like I can't go in the garage and work on something like a project mm -hmm. because it still is not enough of a distraction to get away from like having to work on the video. Like if I'm going to go in the garage mm -hmm. and, you know, make work on a little yeah, project that's not for a video. Yeah. All I'm gonna think about is I should be on. I should be working on the, the okay. other thing. But if I play, so it's like an even better, more like escape. Sort of yeah. From... So it's like playing Warzone. It's like it's so consuming mm -hmm. and such like a kind of a quick like loop of mm -hmm. playing and you know. But you don't just get like more tired and more worked up from that at all. I or... mean, it's a different kind though. But okay. it's still an, it's still an escape <laughs> right. from yeah that feeling of like like this is this sounds. Like, I was talking the other day. <laughs> just, just do drugs. <laughs> no, just do drugs, kids. But just kind of drugs. yeah. Like that's the idea. It's like. <laughs> Like something <laughs> that is able to like completely oh, yeah. pull you Thank out you of what you're doing. Because like, I this is gonna sound sad, <laughs> but okay. We're the ready. last time I actually felt like super kind of at ease and not having like this obligation to do something mm -hmm. is when I was in the hospital. <laughs> All right, so go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. And that was sort of That's a your safe place. That was That's a realization of like, oh god. Yeah, that does. That's uh. Yeah. Huh. Like the only time I felt like I was able to sort of actually like stop and do nothing. It's because mm. you had the the, you... the entire world around you was the excuse. Like you're in the yes, hospital. You're, like you're, I'm you stuck. Cannot I'm do anything stuck else. in a hospital bed. Right. And I really can't do anything. Mm -hmm. right You'd now. probably also thrive in like a hostage situation. Like yes. if you were at a bank and it was yeah. being robbed mm -hmm. and you're like you were like like you know, your hands were tied behind your back, you're yeah, the you would. you're like and the ah. yeah, the guy's like on the phone trying to negotiate with the yeah, FBI you're outside. Like helping him. Yeah. This is way less stressful than my day job. <laughs> yeah, but that was kind of a realization that I maybe have. Not, I don't want to say I approach videos badly, but the way that I have been doing it is not necessarily right. great. Yeah, I mean you've kind of gone a little bit down that rabbit hole. Oh, you plenty maybe. of times. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think um, 
for me, it was Death Stranding. Yeah. I think I put, oh, and uh, Near Automata. I think both of those mm-hmm. games, I put like 60 hours into each of those. Yeah. I remember at one point, it was like you were asking me, you're like, you're like, oh, yeah, how, how long did it take you to make a video? I was like, I don't know, about 60 hours. He's like, you know how much money? <laughs> Like that game, yeah. the equivalent yeah. time in yeah. the game yeah. has cost you, cost you uh-huh. as opportunity cost. Like, I don't uh-huh. know, I like delivering mail. <laughs> I, but I, I think like you can't, you're not like a machine that you can just crank a lever and say, make right. a video, make a video. It's like, yeah. you can only pull that lever so many times before it's just like. <laughs> 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 no. You're shooting blanks, you know? Yeah. You could give some recharge time. Yeah, I, I, I really, I don't really do... I guess for like multiplayer games, <clears throat> I actually think I recharge better when I like get to like sort of like just be sort of alone and quiet for a little yeah. bit. So something mm-hmm. like Death Stranding is like perfect for that because it's just literally you're Norman Reedus and you're just hiking through mountains. What's mm-hmm. more fun, hiking or being Norman Reedus? Norman Reedus. What if for you sure. actually just hike through mountains? That would be tiring and sweaty. Yeah. What yeah, kind right. of suggestion is that? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was yeah. gonna like say meditation next, but that's like no, 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 no. No, I'd rather do carry drugs. a yeah, fetus just, yeah, with you and right. you walk through the mountain. Occasionally, ghosts attack yeah. you, but it's okay. Yeah, you're and then you because you just throw you want to yeah, you just throw your blood and piss and shit at them. I'm not joking. That's how the game really? works. Yeah, you okay. can make pee and poo and blood grenades, and you, the, wow. it because of ghosts your, don't like that. Well, Norman Reedus specifically has a weird biology, and so it like huh. hurts them. Huh. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's, I yeah. feel like you're very explaining this. You also, yeah. you also, um, uh, I think they got rid of it. It must like the contract time must have gone up, but like the at the when the game first came out, you would uh, revitalize yourself with monster energy. You would have a that, canteen of that. monster energy that you would drink to like give your give your mm. character energy. It that almost seems sense. like that a joke. Sense. Well, it was like very memeable, but they don't. It's not the new the like the the new editions of the game. The remakes don't have that anymore. So like mm. must have been like a one time thing. Mm. I honestly miss it though. I wish they would have kept the monster it's energy because kind of so it's just you're Norman Reedus and you're drinking you're from a canteen monster. of monster oh. energy because you're like you're running out of the ability to like run. Is that even good <laughs> yeah. advertising? I think it was great. I, I honestly did drink some Monster Energy because it mm. made me feel like Norman Reedus. <laughs> oh, no. It I works. did. It, it works. Yeah, yeah, advertising works. Oh, yeah. Norman Reedus. <laughs> I, I can't play single player games. Okay, not even like what Breath of the Wild. You didn't you play a little I bit? I did. Of, yeah. I did when we were in the motorhome. But like now, if I was to try and do it, like it just like I feel bad playing single player. Oh, games. because it it reminds you that you're supposed to be yep. doing something else. Yep. Oh. So maybe you have to fix yourself. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Wait, how many? Yeah. Do we have a track record of how many of these podcasts become group therapy sessions? <laughs> uh, how many episodes have we done, Ian? 41. Uh, 40. 40. Oh, this is yeah. 40. This well, we 40. said last one was 40. Even the last one wasn't. We had two different takes. You said 39 and 41. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we've done about 40 self help therapy sessions. <laughs> 40 out of 40. Yeah. <laughs> Make videos hard. It, yeah, yeah. Being, being creative is like. Yeah, that's like, why you gotta quit. Like yeah. right now, what I'm doing for yeah. fun <laughs> is literally like working on that embroidery machine, like trying to like right. figure out how to reduce the friction because it has these little ceramic like eyelets that that string, the thread has to pass through because it has to tension it appropriately right, 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 so that the machine works well. And it's like, I'm not trying to tell a story. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to film it. I'm not trying to make it entertaining because guess what? It's not that entertaining. I'm just like 3D printing a bunch of crap. Like maybe it's interesting, but like. I, uh, there's got to be someone out there who makes good videos and like has fun doing it and isn't worried about it. Like, there's got to be someone who does that, right? It's like a daily vlogger or something, like a <laughs> oh, family daily vlogger. Vloggers are all just like if you're a family vlogger, you get to have fun because you're just abusing your children. So no, it's I, like, think, uh, I think get, daily, uh, I think you don't daily have to worry. Vlogging is like daily vloggers has hate the, themselves. Yeah, I think they. I, I think it's, that's yeah. the worst. Well, yeah, I think the problem is idea. that like when you daily vlog you start the lines between like content and what you truly enjoy get uh-huh, super blurred. Right. It's like, am I here to make videos or am I here to see this forest? <laughs> <laughs> the career suicide yeah. forest. But it's like, if you, let's say you're a vlogger and you go to a party, like, do I actually care about this party or is it just good content? No, it's, it's like, yeah. do I, is this guy actually my friend or is he just good for my videos? Mm-hmm. It's exactly. like, I think you start to like, not like it, it messes it up your own reality. Life. Yeah. Whereas mm-hmm. like, for yeah. science stuff, you have a project, and when you're yeah. done, you can move on. That, yeah. Science really stuff like really, separation. Mm, it mm-hmm. continuously beats you down. It's hard to have too big of an ego if you're constantly being traumatized by yeah. your videos and your project. <laughs> <laughs> but at least when your when your video or project's done, you're like, okay, exactly. I can now like your your real life is 
much more separated than if you're like totally trying to turn your real life into content mm. yeah yeah then your life literally physically becomes content yeah and, and you, it was someone i don't know who it was it was a um uh a daily vlogger who quit i think he was like one of the originals mm -hmm. and i think he re said he would i i could be totally wrong but i think he was saying that he wanted to get a dog and then he was like do i want this dog or is it good content and he goes it's uh, like those things started being like mm -hmm. Eat, and he right. just I think he ended up stopping because he's like you don't you stop even knowing what you want yeah it's like you, you start like losing yourself as a person because you start be, you're like doing things that you think you want but it's also good content so it's like the lines between like yeah. good content and who you are start to like so I feel really, really lucky I feel like extremely lucky that what I like enjoy doing also has like a very very like instantaneous seamless tie-in to like making right, videos right. it's like yeah. even if I necessarily wouldn't have done something in the way that i like do in a video you know like it would have it would have been different i would have done it mm -hmm. differently if i was just doing it for myself yeah it's still something that i would do exactly for yeah, myself it's like <clears throat> definitely in the category of yeah so it's just like how do i you know like the well, car video yeah. that was it, it was just for fun, fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like it was like let's do this thing like i've always wanted to try to make something that was like a little bit bigger kind of felt mm -hmm. like more of a like larger premise and uh -huh. then everyone just shows up and we dick around for the day and then we get a, a yeah. bizarre video out of it like oh, things, and by yeah. the time this podcast comes out it'll be that out, yeah. video will be up yeah so that will make sense yeah. to people yeah uh -huh. I, I was gonna say too, I, I think one of the problems that like probably all of us run into is that you like what you're doing yeah so you do too you do it too much yeah yeah like that's the thing like you have these goals that you'd like to achieve. There's this project, like your little snake, your snake thing there. It's like, you, you have these ideas. <laughs> that was, so, that was demeaning. That? No, so. probably not. Oh, I, I said little, like your snake. Don't, I, yeah, I don't, don't want to give too many. Don't belittle this little, little, little snake. snake. Don't this belittle. is a little, oh, little snake, snake, Nigel. I didn't want to. Your little I didn't snake know thing this there. Would, it would be out before the podcast. I didn't want to give away details. Uh, I don't actually know. I think this one's coming out. If it doesn't matter, they can look at it. This okay. tells yeah. you nothing about the content of the it video. It tells me everything I, I need to know. It tells you okay. nothing okay. about the I just the didn't know how much info to give. Um, but no, the point, I guess, is like you really want to see that project happen. Mm -hmm. like yeah. It personally matters to you. Uh -huh. And then you have all these other ideas that personally matter. And it's like then you start going, okay, if I can do one a month, then I have to wait two months to see that. How about I work on them at the same time? And before you know mm -hmm. it, you're just overloaded. Yeah. Because you're just trying to get all these things done. Yeah. So I'm like, that's kind of what I personally feel like I've had to figure out how to mm -hmm. yeah. manage is like, you want all these things done, but it's okay if they're done in a month, not like next week. Yeah. It's like, you're that, you know, remember mm -hmm. that picture on like uh, Reddit where it's like the rat that gets into the bakery and he's just <laughs> oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's like the captain, like, so I'm like, like, do what you must for I've already won. <laughs> <can't move> anymore. <laughs> A worthy dad. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that's like literally like uh like you doing science content is you yeah. being the rat in the bakery and you're like I'm just gonna keep doing and this until I, die. I yeah. think the thing that like what why I, I joke around saying I quit more of it is just to get a more healthy like balance mm. uh -huh. is because even when I pushed myself where you work like 24 hours a day basically well, 24 but like all your waking hours <laughs> for like a long time and you like get really like you get burnt out and then you go for another month yeah. Even when you're done that, in your head, you're like, oh, we feel so accomplished. I did all these things I want to do. I can then take a break for like a couple of weeks because like I'm, I, I'll, I've done all the things I want to do. Mm -hmm. You take a break for like a day and then you start thinking like, about all the other things you want to do. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you kind of forget. You're like, oh, that stuff's old. I got to work on this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like no matter how much you do, you always feel like there's more to do. When's the last time you took a break? Me? Yeah. This uh, is his break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he stopped well, since middle school. What were you doing today? Today... Honestly, not too much. I was feeling a little under the weather okay, earlier, okay. but yeah. not like I, I was. All right. I was in the garage for a little bit, <laughs> but not too long. Like, he, he, working on like he's working on working on what? He did work the, the jetpack. Okay. The jetpack. Yeah. Yeah. And then and what, what, when's the last time you sort of actually like just weren't working on a video or took like a like an actual measured break? What do you define as a measured break? Like you said, I'm going to sort of just do nothing for this week or month or something. Uh. Yeah, I haven't done a week or month. I've done well. No, I've done a week. I do like weeks around the holidays. Okay, you know what I mean. Yeah, but that's uh, that's, that's okay. Yeah. Like that's, and are you able to like detach from it completely? Like uh, you're... more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when was the last time you took a break? When I was in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When the... And before that. Also, when I went to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, the other time I was in the hospital. Will yeah. really likes the yeah. hospital. He it's really hospital. relaxing. You see, for even him. even like everyone's like, oh, he's like gone. He took a break, and I'm just like, oh man, like, I have just been staring at a video I that could, I don't know how to edit for six months. I could see Will's like psychology though. It's like 
you're working on a project, he gets like stabbed or something, and he's like, oh, oh no, thank God. I, I have to go to the hospital. Oh, I, I, no. stab, I stab myself in the ass <laughs> yeah, really this bad. Sucks. Do you want to see it? He didn't tell me. Where is it? Wait, you oh, didn't yeah. take the opportunity to go to the hospital? He didn't tell me, and then all of a sudden I saw. Do you have another hole in your ass? Wait, I thought you were joking. No, I you have a hole in your ass? I, I feel like everyone a pair of uh, wire, you know, like the, the flush cutters. Oh. It was, I had them, you know, when you like hook a pair of pliers on the. On the oh, oh, yeah. I sat down and it went straight to oh, my Oh, right no. Head. So you had a second oh, bubble. It was, it was a nice little shower, hole. Like, what's on your a second hole. <laughs> second hole. <laughs> Ass, yeah. Should have gone to the hospital. That's a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get back to the hospital. You just gotta get. You gotta get checked out. Yeah, you just you get know, Maybe out. spend a night there. Speaking yeah. of second, <laughs> it's like a hotel. Yeah. Speaking of second, second hole in my ass, this seems like a great time to end the the podcast. <laughs> <laughs>